all right guys welcome back this is part two just came to an epiphany um went on ebay to look up some original springs for an xr100 and um that was based off of looking up the installation instructions off of bbr's website um it was saying that the original spring is 26 to like 27 or 28 pounds of force and it's a progressive type i'm like a progressive type well these springs right here in front of me aren't progressive these are you know just a standard spring it's a uh, consist the coils are consistent in length so i went on to ebay found some oem xr100 springs and sure enough they are a progressive type so that right there kind of concludes that these are indeed uh bbr springs i must have installed back in high school and i bought another set um so i went ahead and after measuring everything um it looks like the coil spring thickness is around 141 thousandths and the coil spring uh, i said wrote thickness there too that's actually supposed to be uh, the outside diameter of the coil spring is 680 thousandths and that was consistent for both of them they're you know within a couple thousand so um the only thing that i was getting was uh on the original one of them looks like it's around 21 920 thousandths and the right was 812 and then on my new BBR springs, I got 21,875 and I got 21,687. Could be maybe a little bit closer, like 21,700. I mean, I'm measuring with a, uh, a Harbor Freight tape measure, so, you know, and in a fucking bent out of shape uh, seal prior tool. So it's kind of a rough estimate, but, you know, just from eyeballing it, I can see that, you know, everything's a little, they're a little different. So I'm kind of concerned about just throwing, I don't know, I might, just throwing both these two springs when I compress them by hand um they feel just about the same like it doesn't feel like these springs have really taken a set and they're not original but when I did install them I mean the oil came out pretty crappy I mean you can kind of see the oil here there was oil in it I guess it doesn't look too bad I don't ever remember replacing it there's quite a bit of metallic in it though um but I mean, the seals were never leaking, which is a good thing. Water doesn't look like water got in there. There's like no rust or corrosion. Um, so it looks like when I did them when I was younger, I probably just pulled old ones out, threw them away, and then put in these BBRs, put the cap on and called it a day. Um, I probably never put in those PW80 springs or maybe they just didn't fit right or, you know, who knows what I tried doing. But it looks like I got bbr springs i got two sets now um so i don't know i don't know if i just want to install these in two new ones the spring tension rate still seems the same uh the only major difference i can see is the coating on these springs is kind of worn off just a little bit compared to the coating on these springs you can kind of tell in the color just a little bit but up close when you really look at them um you know that's a nice you know it has a nice looks like an electrostatic coating to it versus these ones here i mean you can kind of see how it's just rubbed through just a little bit from the springs bouncing around inside um coating's just a little bit more thicker on this one you can tell by the you know the reflection the glare i mean but nonetheless i don't know i'm kind of uh stuck on it. i don't know if i should just use these two and then who knows maybe these came out the way that they did and I put the longer one in on the the brake side and you know just having the that little bit extra tension to kind of keep the fork straight um you know on the front brake and then after time you know because it looks like the original didn't really have too much of a difference versus these new ones here have quite a bit of a difference and they're about i'm assuming about half an inch longer than the stocks and then obviously not come you know progressive so um i don't know uh I mean, unless the other thing I was kind of thinking is taking this new long one and like this other one here, I think it was like this one, putting these two together. I mean, if I did that, those are damn near identical in the length versus if you take a look at this other new one in the original, there's still just a little bit of a difference. But then again, if you put them up against all of them, you can see that you know they progressively get smaller so i don't know maybe they're intended to be that way and they have taken a set it's it's hard to say i mean this you know these two numbers the original it seems like there is quite a bit of a difference still uh, let's see 
yeah so the original seems to be just a little bit longer still than the new one just like a sixteenth of an inch difference it's you can see it through the camera whereas those ones right there are perfectly flush so it's 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 kind of hard to say um it's really hard to say i don't know i'm gonna think about it and uh just like i said in the other video um let's hear your guys' comments and see you know uh and as far as four coil weight too it doesn't specify in the service manual. It does tell you how much to use in the uh, fork oil level. Um, BBR also has a recommendation on, you know, how much. I think it was like 205 millimeters is the fork oil height. I don't know what that's converted into in uh, inches. Um, but in the service manual, it doesn't have an actual viscosity weight. I, I could not find one. I could be blind, but I'm going to go with the 15. I was thinking like maybe a 7.5, a, a 10. I was like, eh, I mean, my forks don't feel bad, but they do kind of bounce just a little bit more than I like them to. So who knows what the original fork oil was. So I, I feel like going with the 15, um, there really isn't too much dampening on, on this bike. You know, it's essentially using that little, that little nylon piston ring there. And this is like part of the dampening and you know, there's holes here, um, you know, that let the fluid out to control it. Um, it's not like a cartridge or anything. It's a really simple, you know, design, you have a bottom out spring. Um, it's pretty, pretty much it. You know, there's no rebound or compression adjustment settings. There's no spring tension settings. Um, it's, you know, it's like an off-road shock. It's not really like a track tunable shock. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I think that's it. Don't think I'm going to go into much detail. Maybe I'll do a fork video. Who knows? Um, like I said, maybe I'll do a rear shock video, but yeah, thanks for watching. Give this a thumbs up, share it. Don't forget to follow and thanks for watching.